Hello again. Today's article on nautical terms was first published in the Bright Side newspaper in August of 2019. First is the crow's nest. According to legend, Vikings carried bird cages on a special platform on top of their ship's mast. In bad weather, the crew couldn't see land. The crows would be released and supposedly fly towards land. The ship's navigator would follow the birds to get the ship safely to shore. As fascinating as this sounds, it's sadly not true. While Vikings did carry bird cages on board their longships, they were never on top of the masts. The name Crow's Nest actually originated in 1807. In that year, William Scoresby Sr. of Whitby, England, mounted a barrel on top of his ship's mast to be used as a lookout. Many people thought that it looked like a crow's nest in a tree, and the name stuck. The back end of a ship is called the stone. On old sailing vessels, there was a cabin at the stone that could be used as an officer's mess or was sometimes used for storage. The deck on top of this cabin was called the poop deck. The name comes from the word pupus, meaning stone or rear end. Our last nautical word is league, as in 20,000 leagues under the sea. When used as a unit of distance, a league is generally considered to be roughly 30 miles. This is because the league was first used to describe how long you could walk in one hour. An interesting sign is that the actual distance of a league varied from country to country due to different local standards of measurement, and this term is no longer recognized because of this. Thank you.